video will be about boots. And that's because these old Alpine stars I'm wearing today, they're about 15 years old, are worn out and are held together with gaffer tape. But I don't just want to buy one new pair of boots, I want to buy two. And that's because I want a second pair of boots that sort of matches the sort of retro jacket I've recently bought, along with my new retro looking bike and my other old bikes. So that means I want a pair of boots that uh, have no big logos on them and look appropriate. What I also want is a pair of boots that are waterproof, are sort of knee high and super tough. So in the past, I've owned about three pairs of CD motocross boots. For many years, that's what I wore, wore them out and then bought another pair. And they're great for sort of general commuting and general riding around on your bike because they are super tough and it feels like you can kick a side of a tank in without a problem. But when I bought my first Ducati many years ago, I found it very difficult to change gear on that old bike using city motocross boots because they're a bit too big and bulky, particularly around the toe area, and they've got big thick soles and high heels, which on the delicate rear sets of a Ducati just didn't work. So at that point, I switched over to, buy, to buying and wearing sort of standard Alpine star boots. So I've not bought a pair of boots for 15 years, so it's about time I went and bought one or two pairs. So in that 15 years, things have changed a bit and trends have come and gone. And one thing I noticed is there's now lots of boots out there that don't look like motorbike boots anymore. They look like trainers, sort of walking boots, or standard shoes really, despite the fact they have ankle protection and all the protection you want on a motorbike. But I'm not gonna buy a pair of those kind of boots, even though I can see the appeal. Because what I want is maximum protection for my feet and in particular my shins. So I think what I'll be buying is one pair of sort of replacement Alpine star boots, similar to the ones I've already got that are now worn out. And also what I want is a pair of kind of super tough motocross boots, adventure boots that aren't really motocross boots because those city boots do have a few issues. So for example, they have a steel plate in the sole, which means it's easier to stand up on pegs, but it does make it more difficult to walk in and less comfortable. So what I really want is a kind of mixture of a standard pair of motorcycle boots and a motocross boot as well, sort of like a merger of the two. So I've been looking around on eBay and YouTube, looking at reviews and so on, and I was pleased to find that people do now make that kind of weird mixture of the two. I think they call them dual sport or adventure boots. And what they are is they look like full on motocross boots, but they aren't. They don't have that steel insert all the way down the sole, and they also don't have you know, a big thick tread in the sole. They also don't have a big uh, toe area, which makes it easier to change gear on bikes like my old, my old um, Ducatis and maybe even this one, who knows. So I am about to go to my local JNS accessories shop, which is huge over there in Oakmere near uh, Northwich. And hopefully I can come back with not one pair of boots, but two. Now, I have found two possible options for those sort of semi off-road boots. One is made by an Italian company called TCX, and I think they're called uh, Baja boots or Bajar boots, and they look pretty nice. But also CD, sort of quite a, a brand I do quite like, also make a similar boot as well. I think it's called uh, Trial or Trail Zero. So it's them sort of boots I'm looking for when I go to JNS. And so I might take you with me, I might try and do some filming when I'm there, I'm not sure if I can, and I'll probably just have my phone, so we'll see how it goes. So, we'll continue the video when I'm over at the huge JNS store. Yeah, there's plenty of boots around here. Here we are in the JNS Accessories Oatmeat branch, as you can see, it's a pretty big place. This is just the boots. And way over there, we've got things like jackets, racing stuff, you name it, they've got it here. And then over here, more boots. And over there, we've got all the helmets. So I'm on the lookout for, first of all, some pretty basic Alpine Star boots. And I think something like this maybe. No, not them, not them. I think they're called SW6. Here we go, Alpine Stars. 
Now, RST do some boots like um, so that they're quite similar and quite cheap, but I found them a bit too tight. They don't have much room in them, so uh, discounted those. So yeah, something like these. I mean, these are expensive, but they got some at the moment that I think last year's stock, SW6 or five, whatever, and they're much cheaper. According to their uh, website, yeah. These are still expensive. These are the posh ones, I think. I don't need them. I do not need something that's quite so uh, trendy, if you like. So let's keep on going and find what I do want. Traps over here. Stacks and stacks of Alpine Stars. Yeah, this is more like it down here. It's a 159. And I've got to put my glasses on now because I can't read the damn labels without my glasses on just a minute there we go yeah so these are smx 5s i think they're sort of like last year's model but they'll do me now i'm a 44 that's a 42 43 41 have we got a 40 yeah there we go there's a 44 so these are kind of like the equivalent of what i've got at the moment just about 15 years more modern so let's try these on all right so there you go they fit me thankfully Say 44s and they're actually almost identical to the ones I've got at the moment, maybe a bit more high tech, I guess, but yeah, they'll do me. So that's the first pair found. Now, here we have our large cross boots, these are cities, and as you can see, brown or black, but I think you can also see how big this toe is and the big sort of tread on them, which I'm a bit concerned about. Right, so over here though, we have what I've got in mind. These are the boots that I'm interested in. These are the TCX Baja. And so here we have the two candidates. My sort of semi off road boot. This is the TCX Baja at 259. And here is the equivalent from CD. Same sort of thing. And this one is a bit cheaper actually. It's only where are we? Two four sorry two three four. Yeah, so twenty-five quid cheaper. They're both quite similar. I'd rather it didn't have this big log on it, but you can't have everything. Now I am a CD man, but which one shall I go for? Right, well these 44s which should fit me. They're actually too big. And these 42s Baja ones are almost there but maybe a little bit too tight I'm not sure I'm not sure of course they don't have a 43 of either so uh, either wait or go for these of the styling actually I do prefer I do prefer these Bajas over the cities which surprises me but there you go and now I'm back home again as you can see and here we have my old Alpine Stars and here we have my new Alpine Stars and to be honest, they're not very different, given that uh, they're, what, 15 years apart? You know, things haven't changed that much, from what I can tell anyway. No doubt they are a little bit different, but looking at them in detail, the way they fit, the way the zips work, the way the Velcro works, yeah, it all looks pretty damn similar. And that's fine, because I'm pretty happy with these. I just hope that these, uh, these toe sliders are a bit more robust than they were on these, because it didn't take long just want to hit the deck and it just fell off as you can see so that's been gone about 14 years this one's hanging on so yeah um anyway they give me a good uh, innings they're held together right now with gaffer tape as you can see here so i'm happy to have my new ones now these are size 44 which is what i am size nine and a half in old money and what a surprise it was when i tried on the 44 size of the uh, the cities they were far too big. I thought, bloody hell, this is a bit odd. And, uh, I'll, and then I tried on the 42s of the uh, TCX, which should be far too small, and they're only a little bit too small. So I thought, right, get me the 43 size of TCX, and I think that should be perfect. So they're going to get me that size. They have one in the warehouse, just wasn't in the shop right now. I'll get a phone call in a few days' time, and I'll pop over there and try them on. And if they fit me, I'll buy them. And I, I was talking about the fact that the sizes seem a bit way out with the salesman. He said, yeah, he says, um, 
what it is is this alpine stars are always on the small side whereas mudcross boots are always on the slightly large size not sure why maybe because you're always wearing big woolly socks inside of mudcross boots who knows but yeah this again just reinforces the fact is you must try them on if i'd have just gone and bought you know uh, a pair of 44s mudcross boots or these baja boots or whatever thinking yeah they'll fit me because these alpine stars fit me at 44 i would be disappointed because they don't they're too big now you can take them back or send them back that's a lot of hassle so i'd rather just try them on first before i go ahead and buy a pair but anyway as i say i've uh, not committed yet because i want to see how they look on me and uh, you know try them out make sure they feel okay when i'm walking around i couldn't really do much at the shop in fact i did feel a bit uh, self-conscious about having the camera out just my phone as you can tell my phone's not not very good and the sound isn't brilliant but i just thought i'd give you a quick tour around of the jns uh, shop because it's quite an impressive shop and it's only about 15 miles away from me so it's easy to get to so anyway we'll continue this is a rather long video in about two or three days time when i've had the phone call i can go and pick up those tcx uh, boots and hopefully they'll look pretty good and work well on my bike, such as the uh, the Nord Commando.